We're gonna pinch our fat in there. Body fat calipers. How to use them? How accurate are they? I don't know, but probably more accurate than my scale, which tries to guess my body fat based on me standing on some silver bars <laughs> on the scale. And my boyfriend changed from like 5% change in his body fat overnight and it never changed back. And it just seems like the scale is probably not all that accurate. So, hey everyone, we are live here on Periscope and YouTube. Our first comment of the broadcast comes into from my friend Ben, who was a special, special guest in my broadcast last night on Twitch, where we did my first ever Fortnite broadcast. And why I said he was so special is because on my screen, it looked like he was skydiving around, like flying around on his stomach for a good minute or two while he rebooted me. And uh, I'm actually going to make a clip of that, put on my YouTube and put it as a highlight on my Twitch channel. I couldn't do it from my phone, so I'll have to do that later. But I'm going to try another Twitch stream, uh, a Twitch stream tonight. Fortnite stream and I'm going to do that with my cam I'm going to try to do that with my camera too. So check that out. Hey, Bradley, all the way from New Zealand. I love that. Derek said he used a caliber. It said it was he was fat. Yeah, my calipers say that I'm much fatter than my scale says, so I prefer the scale, but for accuracy, I do think the calipers are more accurate. Nothing is more accurate than, I believe the most accurate is a like a water displacement test, but if you've always wondered, you know, kind of how can I check my body fat with body fat calipers? What do they look like? What do I do? You can get them online. This is from Amazon, so this is actually a gift that I received from my friend Michael Joseph Murray. It was on my Amazon wish list, which you can find at the website. The link's in the profile if you so desire to see what's on my wish list. Um, and this is a Sequoia Fitness Products USA a Skin Fold Thickness Calipers, and it's called the Trim Cal 4000. So this is like a cheap, affordable version that seems to do a pretty good job. Uh, hey, Puma. Hey, Rehab. Hey, guys. Hey, Matthew. Sorry if I missed any comments. It's National German Chocolate Cake Day. That sounds like an awesome day. All right, so let me just get this chair out of here so I can show you. Now, it's different for men and women. Now, why is that? I'm not totally sure. Maybe just because we carry our fat in different places. I don't know. I don't know what, what to tell you, but I do know that it, ha it comes with full instructions if you get the one that I have. I'm just going to put my hair back. So it doesn't get in my way I get pinched so first and foremost it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to use it I'll give you kind of the highlights um, you want to the best way to do this is if someone else can do it for you I don't know if it says that this on here but as you twist and move your body to try to do it to yourself you can kind of modify the results most likely. So it's good to take multiple tests. So I think it says two or three times. Um, repeat the procedure for each site. Yeah, so set two times it says. Yeah. So uh, last time I did have my boyfriend help me, but if you're alone, you can do it yourself. It just might be a little bit different result. And then it shows you on the front side, and yes, it did come in the package all wrinkled like this, so bear with me. Um, it's shows you where the locations are on the male body and on the female body and how exactly you're going to clip them if it's vertical up and down clipping so if it says vertical you're going to want to make sure you always have the numbers here on the end facing up where you can see them thanks paul for the super hearts so i would want it like this if i was going to go vertical and i would clip like this so you can see so that would give me a vertical skin fold then if it says to take a horizontal skin fold, you're going to turn it like so, so that then the clip, it's going to clip on and get a horizontal skin fold. And then diagonal, you just turn it the way that you're going to be able to see the numbers so that you can take the measurement. So you're also going to need a pen and paper to write your numbers down. Then they have a second paper that comes with it that gives you your body fat percentage based on your age and the sum of your three body fats. So female and male. Again, kind of strange to me, one, that male and female are different, but also that it would vary based on your age. I feel like your body fat percentage should just be the percentage of body fat on your body, and it shouldn't matter if you're male, female, and what age you are. It should just be a number that, that, that it says. So I don't know if it's... Yeah, I don't know why that would be. And it does say, if the sum of your skin folds is over 180 millimeters, please consult a personal trainer. I would also suggest a nutritionist, someone like the lovely Miss Brittany's Quest. 
Michael, there you are. Michael's one who who got it for me. JC, I do have body fat. To paint you like my shirt, Ben, thanks. My friend has the other one, which says buds on it, and it's the other half of the leaf. All right, love you, Chloe. Hey, Victoria. Well, a doctor, yeah. You should already be seeing a doctor regularly, for sure. All right, so let's start with females, since I'm a female, but I will show you the males as well. So you have the suprailiac fold. I'll actually show you this as I read it to you. You can see it, and if I can show it and read it at the same time. Super iliac. Take the measurement on a diagonal skin fold just above the front forward part of your hip bone. And it shows you right here. So you can see it's a diagonal, okay? And it goes kind of with the hip. So it's a diagonal going down like this. So I'm just going to lift my shirt up. See, there, there's a little bit of a little bit of stuff to grab and it's supposed to go with my hip like this but if I do it like this you'll see I won't be able to see the numbers so I want to flip like this so that I can get the angle of the skin fold that I want and I'll still be able to see the numbers here on this side all right so I'm going to look at my measurement it looks like it's pretty much coming right out from the belly button so I'll do like right here so I will Grab the fat. I'll try to get a firm that diagonal. I feel like that's a pretty good diagonal. I'll grab that. You give it a minute to kind of settle in and pinch in. Um, it feels like it hurts a lot. I don't feel like it hurts at all, but it is what it is, right? Everybody has a different tolerance, I guess, for pain or something. Ed has a high tolerance for pain, but he felt like this hurt a lot. Maybe because men don't have as much fat or something. This doesn't hurt me at all. Let's see how it's grabbing my fat like that. So that's 12 for me. The number is 12. I wonder if I can actually show it to you. Uh, not exactly. It's a little bit glary, but it's coming up at the 12 there. So then I'll let that go. And I'll just write the number 12 down. Somewhere. Where do I want to write it? I had paper, but I changed my mind about using it. Whatever. I'll just use it. It's okay. 12. All right, then the next spot is the thigh. Yes, I am Puma. Yeah, we'll be streaming Fortnite tonight on Twitch. Does that hurt? It doesn't It doesn't hurt me. Um, you can actually see the marks a little bit. You see that mark right down there and then this one here? So it does like, it kind of grabs you, but I don't know, it doesn't hurt. It's like, it's like a, the mildest pinch ever, I feel like, because they're not sharp. So the pinchers here, it's flat. It's a flat plastic. So it really doesn't hurt. Of course you can, Pima, but it'll be late. So you might be asleep. You might want to take a nap first. Hey, Victoria. Hey, Liz Gross. How are you, Los Angeles? You've never seen fat calipers. Oh, awesome. Well, I'm glad to show you this, Bob. Something new, right? All right. And then we have the thigh. And you can see the picture here. Where the thigh, so it's a vertical skin fold. And it's going to say, take the measurement on a vertical skin fold taken in the middle of the thigh, halfway between the crease of your thigh, crease of your thigh being like where it bends here, and the top of your kneecap. So top of the kneecap. Let me put this down a little so you can see. All right, so we have top of the kneecap. My thigh crease is there. So halfway between these two points is roughly here, I would say, and I need it to be a vertical skin fold. Now I can't do it this way because the numbers won't be facing the right way. I got to do it this way. So first I'll grab. This one's a little bit harder for me to really grab, but I try. And then you let it settle for a few seconds. And that looks like a pretty solid 20 for me. So 20, that one hurt a little bit more, but again, it doesn't really hurt. It's really not that bad. It's like, it's like nothing. It's like a one on the pain scale. All right, so then I'm gonna write 20. And the final, the final spot. This is the hardest spot to, to do on your own, is your tricep. Take the measurement on a vertical skin fold taken on the back of the upper arm on the tricep muscle, halfway between the shoulder and elbow. Now this is really hard because you're doing it to yourself. So you have to clip the back of your tricep muscle and still be able to see the number. 
So if I do it like this, I can look back and see it. So hopefully you have that same situation. How to clip it on there, I'm not totally sure. Where did it say to do it? Halfway between the shoulder and elbow. Shoulder, elbow, I guess right about here. Rid of that part of the skin that starts to kind of like sag. So now it's a lot harder for this one also because you only have one hand. And I really want to do it this way, but I can't. Maybe if I can do it on the other arm. Elbow, shoulder, probably right about here. Just so it feels less fat on this side. Right there. Okay. Got my eye on the prize here. Okay, it's not totally vertical, I don't think, but I'm trying. Let me see if I can make it more vertical. It's not really the back either, but like I said, this is the hardest one. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit for a second. You can see it's got my skin. Looks to me about 19. Okay, so 19. So then what you do is you take the sum of the three. Which, what did I say? So I have 12, 20, and 19. So we have 39, 51, right? Yeah, 51. Yeah, 51. So then I go on my sheet. I look at my age across the top, which I'm 29. So I grab the 27 to 29 spot. And then I want to look at, what did I say, 51. So 51 is right here. I go across to my age, which is this one, 51 here. This says I have 21% body fat, which is actually pretty consistent with, hang on, I didn't show that very good, did I? So 51 across to here. Wait, can't keep my fingers straight here and do the camera. 21, 21. I'm pointing at the wrong one. No, I'm not. 21, there. This one, this gray one right here. 21, 21% body fat. So that would be my result. Now I'll show you how to do it for men so that we have both here. Hey, Skywalker, 51. The, the combined total of my fat on my hip, my tricep, and my thigh. So it's 51 millimeters of fat on those of the skin fold thickness. And then if you add that up, it for my age, it says 21% body fat, which is interesting because... I wonder how that changes. So if I was older, it would say that was 22% body fat, which doesn't make sense to me because I feel like your skin gets looser. Whatever. You'll be awake? Okay, awesome. <laughs> All right, so now we'll do for the men. I don't know if we need stomach for the men. Oh, yeah, we do, we do. Right. So we have our picture for the men. 51 years old. No, no, no. <laughs> 29 years old, 51 millimeters of fat. All right. Tuck it in a little bit. All right. So here is for the men. You have chest, abdomen, and thigh. So the first one is the chest. Take the measurement on a diagonal skin fold taken halfway between the nipple and the front of the underarm. The measure site is across an imaginary line drawn from your nipple to your armpit. All right. I'm going to want to do this one because it's easier where my, it's, it's easier if you put it on the side where your thumb is on the trigger. Uh, obviously, I can't do this shirtless, but I would suggest that you are shirtless when you do it so the shirt isn't interfering. I'm a woman and they don't allow me to take my top off in public, so here we are. All right, so from my nipple to my armpit, about halfway through would be right about here. Oh my god, I can't even get anything there. There we go. If I kind of pinch it. Ow, I really can't get any skin there. I wonder if I could do it bare. Hang on, I just go off camera and see if I can get my bare skin. Kind of. It, like, it slides a little bit though, probably because I have a breast. I don't know. I don't know. But it was a lot easier with the bare skin. The skin pincher, that's what they called you in high school. Hi, Sandra. Hello. Okay, and then for men, the second measurement is your abdomen. And I'm not taking my, I'm not writing my numbers down because uh, I didn't even actually look at my number because it was very, like, it was, like, moving um, because I'm not a man. So 
it won't really help me. But if you're a man, you would write that down. So then abdomen is a vertical skin fold two centimeters, which is about three quarters of an inch to the right of the navel, the belly button. So you can see that location right here. It's like right next to the belly button pretty much. And it, does it say to the right? To the right. Who's right? If you're facing the person or your own right? Well, whatever. I'm going to go with my own right. I have no idea. So my belly button, which means I would go to vertical skin fold. And I want it to be, I basically go in my belly button to grab it. Which gives me a 12, but I'm not a guy, so again, I'm not going to write that down. You can probably see the little indent a little bit. I can see it in real life. I don't know how well this camera's picking it up. Indent, indent. Why is there like a belly button? Okay, whatever. You need someone to do it for you. I talked about that in the beginning. So not everybody has someone to do it for them. So we are doing the best that we can, knowing that it would be easier if someone did it for us. All right, thigh. Take the measurement on a vertical skin fold in the middle of the thigh, halfway between the top of the thigh and your kneecap, which is the same basically spot as we did with the female. I'll do it again just to demonstrate. Grab it, get that in there. And you can't see it because I moved my camera back up. Okay, so just grip in the thigh. You let it settle. This one's coming up like 23, which I think is different than last time. I might have grabbed a different spot. I don't know, but you get the idea. And they do suggest taking two measurements and finding the average between the two, but I'm not gonna have you guys sit here and watch me do this. I've done it before. And uh, I was, I, like I said, I like the what my my scale says about my body fat more than I like what the skin calipers say. They're probably a little bit more accurate though. So it's better. Oh my God, I just, Remember, so this is crazy, okay? So I just found this $5 in my shirt and I totally forgot that it was in there. We've been looking for this $5 in my house for like an hour. This is my stepson's $5 bill. Is Ed in here or not? I have to, I'll have to tell him. And I told him I would hold on to it for him. Or no, he, what did he say? He goes, does anyone want my money? He was like joking around, I was like, I do. And I grabbed it and I put it in my shirt. And I totally forgot. And then we were all like, where is it? Well, it wouldn't just disappear. We will, we'll find it. All this stuff. Literally, I'm looking around. I'm crawling around, looking under the couch, finding all these socks, cleaning the whole house. And the whole time, it's on my boobs. Canucks fan, yeah. All about the Lincolns. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's a big deal for his age, you know? He's like, where's my $5? He was, like, crying. And I'm like, oh, my God. It was my fault the whole time I was literally in my shirt. He's going to laugh when I tell him that, but he's probably already asleep. But that's the end of this broadcast anyway. Those are the measurements. I'll show you this one more time. So you have the measurements for females. Or the, sorry, the locations for the female. It's not quite coming in clear here. That's as good as I'm getting it right now. Maybe if I fold it and hold it. Fold and hold. Oh, there's some, oh, there we go. There's the locations for the females. Locations for the males. I'm obsessed with getting this clear. I mean, it's clear enough, right? Why won't you come in clear? Sorry, man. Yours is a little bit fuzzier. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. And then the numbers, again, it came, this is how it came in the packaging, very, very crinkled. So you have the age across the top and the sum of the three sites that you took the measurements on on the side. And if you go across, find where the two points meet, you'll end up with your body fat percentage. That's for female. Yes, I do, Chloe. And this is for male. So there you have it. That's how you use body fat calipers. And Michael gave this to me as a gift months ago. And I've been wanting to do this broadcast for so long. And I finally got it done. So there you go. 
The ones I'm using are Sequoia Fitness Products USA, the TrimCal 4000. Okay, you can find it right on Amazon. Now I can put this into my fitness area. I hope, oh, you're amazing, Chloe, I love you. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was informative for you. And it gives you a little bit more confidence to, to find out these things about yourself and your body in the comfort of your own home. And I'm going to get ready for a yoga broadcast. And I've never done a yoga broadcast on StreamYard. I don't know if I'm going to be able to or not. Can't see why not. I don't know. I might use OBS for that. So hi, Josh. <laughs> I had a dream about Josh earlier. Josh, did you see my message on Discord? Yo, amazing. Mm, no, it's not the right yo, I feel like. Yoga! Yes, I want to start a new series. It's a new eight-week series based on Sarah McLean's book, Soul Centered, Transform Your Life in Eight Weeks with Meditation. So it's a yoga series based on meditation. And meditation is always a part of yoga, but this is like really, really super duper focused on the meditative aspect of yoga. I am a certified Hatha yoga teacher. And if you want to get private yoga sessions from me, you can get them at the shop on my website, nextjuice.com. Yeah, go check it out, Josh. I had a crazy dream about you. I woke up crying. All right. I love you guys very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the super hearts full. And I'll be back with yoga. And then after yoga, we'll do Fortnite on Twitch. Sound good? And yoga will be on both Periscope and YouTube if I can pull that off. If not, it'll just be on Periscope. Don't be scared. I'm very grateful that you're alive because in my dream you died. Fortnite! Yes! Okay. All right. I love you guys. I'm going to go return my $5 bill to my child if he's still awake. And if not, I'll put it under his pillow for him to wake up to or something like that. All right. I love you guys. This has been a moment in time with Taylor. Check out your body fat, get your body fat calipers, and get your fitness going from home, even if the gyms aren't open in your state like they aren't in mine in New Jersey. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. This has been a moment in time with Taylor. I hope to see you on the next juice. Bye, Josh. Bye, Victoria. Bye, Michael. Bye, Berto. Bye, Chloe. Bye, guys. Hey, Sully. I'm just signing off. I'll see you later. I'm going to be live in a little bit. I just got to go do I have. It'll take me. I'll be live by 10 p.m. Eastern time for sure at the latest. Bye, guys.